Good morning. My name is Linda. Good morning. And you are? Hi, Linda. My name is Dottie. Hi, Dottie. Um, you're interested in VF services? Yes. What do you know about mass rehab? Well, I would like services because I'm looking for a job, and okay. I think MRC can help. Okay. Have you been to Mass Rehab previously, or is this your first time? This is my first time. Okay. So, you know that Mass Rehab is the state agency that works with people with disabilities. Yes, okay. okay. So I, so deafness is your primary disability? Yes. Do you think you may have any other disabilities? No, I'm, I just am deaf and that's okay. my only disability. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions today. Sure. Okay. Um, first question is, um, you live in what town? Boston. Okay. Do you live on your own? Do you live with family, friends? I live with my parents. Okay. And how do you support yourself? Are you working now? I get both SSI and SSDI. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Do you know how much you get in each check? Altogether, it's nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. Okay. Hmm. That seems like a lot of money for someone on both benefit programs. So we may talk about that later on. Sure. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your education? Did you graduate from high school? Yes, I did. Okay. What about any other trainings that you may have had? I haven't had any other trainings. Okay. So no other courses, uh, not a college class or a training program? Really nothing at all, okay. other than high school. All right. Well, what about your work history? I worked at Target. I was a clerk, a stocking clerk. Did you like that type of work? Yes, I did enjoy that very much. Okay. How long did you work there for? One and a half years. And why did you leave? I was working so much that it affected my benefits, and then uh, I lost some of my benefits, and I couldn't afford that, so I had to leave the job. Okay. What kind of work do you think you may like to do? I'd really like to be um, somebody who works in a bakery doing the cooking and baking. Ah, okay. Do you have any experience doing that? No, I have no experience, but it's really something that I feel very strongly about. I really want to do it, and I'd like to take courses and train to be able to work in that field. Okay. Do you bake at home? No. No. Okay. 
So I'm trying to get a sense of why you chose working in a bakery. I've seen my friends baking and I, I'm fascinated by the design of, of cake making and the, the cooking of the cakes and all of that. Um, and so when I've seen that and other people doing it, it really fascinated me and I decided that that was something I wanted to do. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do you know anybody that works at a bakery now or owns a bakery? No, nothing like that. Okay. I'm just thinking that maybe sometime in the future we may want you to go visit a bakery and maybe go in the back and see what a baker actually does. Sure. Yeah. Usually when you watch someone do a job, you get a better idea if that's something that you may like to do. Yes. Okay. One of the other things that Mass Rehab may help you with is some kind of a training towards becoming a baker. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, so we may look at some schools or some training programs that could help you learn how to bake. Yes. Before we do that though, we may want to get a better idea of what kind of skills that you already have. Okay. Okay. And we may also want to look at some other interests that you might have. Sure. Okay. There's some interest testing or there's some skills assessments that we may do. And okay. once you complete those, we may get some different answers. You may find that there are other interests or jobs that you might want to look into. Okay. Okay. And that's something we'll look at into the future. Okay, because I don't know if you know, but Mass Rehab has a three-month waiting list right now. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so even though I can do the intake right now and get some general information, it'll be about three months before we can actually work together to start building towards a plan. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, but, and this is helping me today just to get some information about what you do like and what you don't like. Okay. Okay. And one of the things that you already know is that you want to look at working in a bakery. Yes. Okay. So you may want to look into that a little bit more during the next three months. Sure. Visit a bakery. Yep, maybe, I will. Maybe experiment at home. Cakes, cupcakes.
Okay. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to ask you a little bit more about your medical background. You stated you were deaf. How did you become deaf? I had chicken pox. Okay. And you have a recent audiolog I can't say that word. You have a recent audiological exam. Yes. Okay, good, because Mass Rehab likes to have medical documentation. Okay. Okay. And I'm probably going to see if you can get some medical information from your primary care doctor, just to let me know if you're healthy. Sure. Okay. Any hospitalizations? Nope, never. Okay. And what about any other agencies? I, do you have any involvement with any other state agencies? No, no other state agencies. All right. Any other programs? An independent living center? No. Okay. What about a court record? Do you have a been arrested? No, never. No, nothing like that. Good, good. All right. And other than the SSI and the SSDI, you have no other income? No, just those two. Okay. What about health insurance? No, I don't have any. No health insurance? No, I don't have any. Hmm. How long have you been on the um, SSDI? I would say about 10 years. Hmm. Well, most people that have SSDI also have Medicare, which is a health insurance. I don't have that. Yeah, I don't have any kind of health insurance. Okay, and if you're on SSI, it's automatic that you have Mass Health, which is another health insurance. I guess I should ask about that. I should, we should definitely follow up with that. Yeah, we should find out. Um, that's very important to have health insurance these days. Oh, I'm relieved if we'll follow up with that. Yeah, yes. that's important. We will find out about that. Okay. Um, food stamps? No. No, no food stamps. No. Okay. And you live with your parents? Is it yes. An apartment? Is it a house? It's a house. Okay, and they own that house? They rent the house. Okay. All right, well, I think I've gathered information for right now. Um, you must have some questions. Uh, I don't have any questions right now, but I think when we get together next time, I definitely will have questions for you then. Okay, so. I'm going to have you sign some forms, but before I do that, what are you going to do for the next three months? I'm going to cook. I'm going to bake. <laughs> good, good. You can do it a couple of ways, too. You could go buy a box of Betty Crocker and the grocery store.
Yep. Or you could do what all the bakers do is they start from scratch. That's what I really want to do. Yes, so you're going to go get some flour and some sugar and salt. Okay. All that mixing, that'll, that'll, if you try that, you may get a much better idea if you're going to like bacon. Yes, definitely. Yes, it's, it's a good thing to try out. Yep, okay. I will. I'm going to give you some forms to sign. Sure. And it's, they're basically going to say, I am applying for Mass Rehab Services. Yep. Okay, all the information that we talked about here is confidential, so we don't want you to worry about that. Okay. Okay. So when I see you in a few months, you're going to be able to tell me that you did some cooking and you actually enjoyed the bacon process. I will definitely do that. All righty. Thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you.